Howdy all and welcome back to the channel. Okay, so uh, I just want to say hello to all my new subscribers. It's great to have you here and thanks to all of the subscribers that are liking and sharing and commenting on my videos. It's helping my channel grow and as I said before, I will be doing a giveaway when I hit the 10,000 subscribers. I think I'm about 300 off. I'm not, it's not too bad. Not too many to go. Anyway, on to today's video, which is uh, my full review and thoughts on Star Wars Squadrons. Now, obviously I did my uh, first impressions video, which my first impressions was quite good on the game, to be fair. But those of you who did watch it um, might have uh, remember I said about the storyline, because I... Uh, there's a little disclaimer to the review really um, it's mostly going to be on the story mode because I generally don't play online multiplayer games however I did try the online multiplayer and it wasn't all that good I just I played it for like half an hour I was like eh, fine whatever it didn't, didn't do anything for me um, so this review is mainly going to be focusing on the uh, story mode aspect of the game which most people have, might be picking up just purely for that so that's kind of what we're going to do here so basically I've not even completed this game there's 14 missions I'm on level I'm on mission 11 and one of the biggest reasons I've stopped is I'm bored I'm absolutely bored you do a mission and it's like ugh, and you turn it off and the problem is, is every mission can pretty much be broken down to the following. It's, it's go from A to B, follow this guy to point C, shoot some designated targets with your craft on this big craft over here, or shoot a bunch of enemies over here, uh, return to base and end this mission. And that's it. And there's 14 missions and they're all basically the same. You go from A to B, kill a few things here, shoot a few bad guys there, have a bit of dialogue, follow some leader chap over there, and it's done. And that's it in a nutshell, and there's 14 of these missions. The only variable between each of the missions is what craft you are flying, whether you've got like an X-Wing or whether you've got the other ones, you know. And, and although that feels good, it purely feels like it's just aesthetics because fine like your displays there and your lasers might be green or blue or red or whatever but the controls for each of the crafts are identical there's no difference between any of the crafts whatsoever and all of the controls are the same across all of the crafts and although they're very tight and very good and very responsive and the actual controls and gameplay when you're flying a craft is very good they're all the same so you don't get that feeling that you know you're in one craft which is 12 times the size of the other one or you know the throttle doesn't make you go fast you know it doesn't take more to get up to throttle or high speed in a heavier vehicle or a smaller vehicle they're all the same so that just came a little bit repetitive and that's the problem with the gameplay as a whole the whole of the gameplay is pretty much repetitive and after playing basically the first four missions it started just to become very samey very boring and very repetitive no matter what ship you had the controls all went the same, everything went the same, and it just ended. And the storyline is dull as dishwater. The character models, when you're not doing the space missions, when you're like in the hangar or the briefing area and you're talking to people, they look like graphics from the PS3 days. They look absolutely ridiculous. However, the graphics from within like the craft and when you're flying around and doing the actual missions, they is a lot, lot better. It's very good. Um, the music and sound effects is very very fitting to the game of this title um, you know if it's a Star Wars game and you've not got your iconic Star Wars music then you've kind of failed at being a Star Wars game haven't you so at least they got that right 
So, yes, as much as the gameplay is good, and the gameplay is good, and the graphics is pleasing in combat, the story and level design lacks any depth and grabs me to want to make me play more of the game. At the end of each mission, I just wanted to turn it off and bother, not bother, I just, whatever, you know, it was a massive downer on me wanting to play more of the game. Normally, on a game like this, I'd be finishing a mission and be really compelled to play the next mission and not want to stop. This, I've got to the point where I've completed mission 10, I'm on to 11, and it's like, oh, it just feels like a drag because it's the same thing. It's going to be, I go from A to B, I shoot a bunch of things, I get a bunch of targets, I do this, go back to the base and end the mission. And that's it. There's no more to it than that. And it just starts to get a little bit boring. And it basically comes down to the level design and, game, and the gameplay aspects of the level design and the missions that you're doing are just the same thing, repeated but with a different aesthetic craft. The craft doesn't have any difference in play style whatsoever. The upgradability of each of the crafts seem to do literally nothing as well. There's a whole plethora of different areas you can upgrade on your ship, but it makes no difference. It doesn't make it harder, it doesn't make it easier, it doesn't do absolutely jack nothing to how that storyline plays out or how that level works or what, or whether you win or succeed. You could have done it with type A weapon or type D weapon or whatever. You could have had a shield at 190% or a shield at 80% and generally you're still going to win. It makes no difference. Absolutely no difference whatsoever. And it just is a little bit lame. And I know I'm, as I said, I'm only really focusing here on the single player campaign aspect, but I've not exactly played this a grand deal of time. And there's 14 missions and I'm just finished level uh, mission 11. And like I say, it's all very similar, but I've probably only had seven or eight hours gameplay out of this. And I know it's a lower budget game, but if you're not going to play the multiplayer aspect, which I'm not going to, um, and to be honest, there wasn't a grand deal of people playing online either, so that one was a little bit of a downer as well, and I just, for the cost of this being a £30 lower budget game, it's not a full £55 game, it's a £30 game I paid for it. I think the RRP is 35 but I found it cheaper. But regardless of that, the story mode and the longevity that you're going to get out of it there's practically no replayability as far as I'm concerned because you might as well say there's one mission and you're repeating it 14 times anyway so why would you want to go and do those 14 missions again replayability here is zero in my opinion um, and it just lacks that depth that you need from a Star Wars flying game like this and I really really say that if you're going to go and get this and try and play it I would wait for this to be in the bargain bin because it's got £10 written all over it I'm afraid um, I can't give this game more than 5 out of 10 maximum and that's basically based on the lack of depth in the the gameplay and the game the, the level design other than that, like the actual flying and the playing of the game plays really well. If they had actually done some other mechanics to the different crafts, or the levels were more varied, then it would be a lot better. It would be a lot, lot better. Because the actual flying mechanics is really good, and it controls perfectly well, and the music's right. It's just the fact of the depth of the storyline and the boring level design really bring it down. So yeah, 5 out of 10 maximum I'm afraid. I really can't give it more than that. And that's about it really, I'm afraid. I, uh, I'm going to call my review there and I'll uh, catch you on the next one. I am going to leave a little bit more gameplay here running for you all so you can see the end of this part. But basically this is just some video footage from, I think it's Mission 10. I was caught some, just got some gameplay footage off. But 
yeah maximum of five out of ten um hope everybody's having a good weekend and i shall catch you on the next one if you're new around here please subscribe i shall be doing that giveaway at 10,000 subscribers and if you liked this video please drop me a like and if you would like to know anything else about the game or my experiences with it just drop a comment down below and i'll try and get back to anybody um, and i'll catch you on the next one thank you bye